Well, Lori, we're joined on the phone this morning by Grandmaster Sexe, Brian Christopher, and you hear the music in the background, man. It looks like you're still putting some music together, too. Well, what's going on, the bad man, Brandon Baxter? What's, what's, what? Yes, I'm, I'm doing some music also, man. You know, I better, but next time I come on here, I want you to crank it up. I want you to crank it up real good and get me fired up. I know it sounds like I'm fired up right now, but I'm not <laughs> fired up. I'm just, this is just how I wake up in the morning time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'll tell you what I am getting fired up about. I am getting fired up about this Friday night. What about you? Man, this is one of those wrestling shows, and a lot of times I don't get super excited about one, but to think that we get to have this Memphis wrestling, essentially a reunion, uh, these guys all coming back together, and Brian, the truth is there's probably a chance that this group will never be together again like it is this Friday. Well, uh, what are you trying to say? Some of them might die real soon? Or well, I hope nobody dies, but I mean, we've waited a lot of years to get everybody back together. <laughs> right. You're right. We, we sure hope. Uh, hey, you know, the, uh, speaking of dying, uh, it, it last week was the one-year anniversary of Jerry the King Lawler uh, having his heart attack up in Montreal, Canada. And of all places, for him to have to go back to uh, and uh, and, rec- and do Monday Night Raw, he had to go back to Canada. <laughs> but at least, at least everything went smooth. You know, I think, I think, uh, I think once they. Uh, once they went in and did their did their work on on the king, I think he's better than ever, and he is in our main event come come Friday night. He's in there with none other than Double J. Jeff Jarrett, who has gone on to become a, a, a star, world world heavyweight champion in TNA, and and uh, uh, you know, gone on to bigger and better things. And not only is Double J going to be there, but I hear that he's bringing along his wife, the lovely Karen. So wow. you know, she's going to be lurking on the outside. But 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 you know, you can't outsmart the King. The King uh, uh, has got some got reinforcements on his side. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but in this match, in this main event match, we have ourselves a special guest referee, none other than the boy from New York City, the boogie woogie man, handsome Jimmy Valiant is going to be there Friday night the 13th. You know what's exciting about this, and I don't know if it's ever happened before, but you know I've seen Lawler versus Jarrett before. I remember seeing it in 1996, Mid-South Coliseum, one hour, time limit draw. It was an amazing match, but this is before we had you know, WWE and TNA. I can't tell you the time we're going to have two stars from those two organizations get together and main event an event like this. I don't know if it's ever happened. I don't. I don't think it's ever happened either. Uh, uh, you know, I sit there and think back uh, over the years, and, and and you're right. I don't think this is a this is a once in a lifetime. Uh, uh, that will probably never happen again. Yeah. But uh, but uh, you know, also, I don't think it's ever going to happen again. Where you got you have. The Birdman, Coco Beware, which is a WWE Hall of Famer right. on the card. You have you have the new Nature Boy Kevin White on the card. You have the Spellbinder on the card. You have Big Daddy V Viscera on the card. You got Grandmaster Sexay on the card. I'm bringing in my 440 pound Samoan hip hop buddy Rotishi is going to be on the card. You also got former NWA WCW World Tag Team Champions, known all over the world, the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson on the card. I mean, oh my gosh, am I leaving any bound? Oh, you know who I almost left out? I almost left out. The greatest, and I mean the greatest wrestling announcer of all time. Yes, he's going to be there live and in living color. Lance. Russell oh, wow. will be there Friday night at the uh, Resorts Casino. You, you, you know, if you miss this show, then let's just go ahead and say you're you're not a true wrestling fan if you miss this show. I mean, these guys were the stars of Memphis Wrestling, Channel Five Wrestling. The guys who were the superheroes come to life uh, on Saturday morning television. All the Resorts Casino coming up on Friday, which is in Tunica. But, Brian, I understand that for people who have wanted to go to this event, you know, there's one thing to have the matches, and the matches start at 7 o'clock. That's the bell time. But before that, there's a VIP uh, meet and greet, which gives you access to all of the different uh, stars on the event. 
Yes, yes, yes. I'm really looking forward to the meet and greet myself because, you know, Tunica, Mississippi is just a stone's throw away from uh, from Memphis where I was born and raised. You know, I'm Memphis born, Memphis bred, and when I die, I'll be Memphis dead. I love the city of Memphis, Tennessee. You know, I also love, I got some love for Jonesboro. You know, I don't go. think I forget, don't think I forget in all those years that I came over there and wrestled at the Earl Bell Community Center. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I just got a text, you know, you know, it's funny that we bring up Jonesboro. I just got a text uh, just a few hours ago from Craig, my good friend Craig over at Car Today. Yep. Looks like we're going to have a, uh, a big show out of Car Today coming up. You know, I I, uh, I enjoy that. But but back to the meet and greet. This is an opportunity. You know, for forty dollars, that's the uh, that gets you that gets you special seating uh, uh, for the event. That gets you you know pr- premium seating. Then that also gets you full access. Access to all the wrestlers at night, and it's not just you stand in line and you walk by and hey, my name is David, and uh, and the guys write David on the picture, and then you're and then you're, then you're gone. This right. is a chance for you to, to actually you know st- stand there, sit there, and uh, take pictures with the guys, get, talk old school you know wrestling uh, back in the back in the Channel Five days of uh, uh, Memphis TV wrestling, you know where er- back back with everybody. And I mean, everybody used to watch Channel Five wrestling out of Memphis. Yeah. I mean, not only not only did we have wrestling uh, in Memphis on Channel Five, we had wrestling in Nashville, Tennessee. We had wrestling in in Louisville, Kentucky. We had wrestling in Evansville, Indiana. And then you know, about a hundred and fifty mile radius of all those cities. So you know that the whole Mid South area grew up with Brian Christopher every Saturday in their living room, with Jerry the King Lawler, you know, every Saturday in their living room. So so it's like these people, it's like they almost feel like we're family to them, which, you know, the, we, you know, especially if they came down to the, uh, let's say, the Louisville Gardens every Tuesday night, yeah. they were like family to us, you know, because we would see these people over and over, if, you know, coming down to the Mid-South Coliseum every single Monday night. You know, just think about it. Think of Vince McMahon today tried to run the Madison Square Garden every single Monday night. Do you think do you think that, that would they would sell out in in uh, every single Monday night? Heck no. There's no way you would be able to do this. So that was remarkable mm-hmm. what uh what the uh company here in Memphis was able to do and then we'd come over there to Jonesboro and tear it up. I will never forget some of the wild and crazy you remember the moon dogs. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, oh my gosh! I remember some of them wrestling against the Moon Dogs and in Jonesboro. That was one of the. the uh, uh, I'll never forget this. I was wrestling. Uh, uh, his name was Cujo. Uh-huh. He was the one of the bigger of the Moon Dogs, and we fought our way all the way into the women's uh, restroom. And while we were in the women's restroom, he ripped the uh, um, the metal. You know where the where the. Uh, Towel dispenser, right. the towel dispenser is. You know, he ripped that off the wall and then <laughs> stuck it in my head. It stuck it right in my head. I got twenty six staples oh uh, from where he where that stuck in my head. Not only did he, I mean, he didn't just hit me with it. He stuck that thing in my head. I oh. walked around for 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 a few seconds with it with it actually sticking. You know, <laughs> I'm sure I looked like a like a walking mailbox or something there <laughs> for a little while. But uh, but so I remember the. Wild and crazy matches over there in uh, Jonesboro, and I hope that all the all the true wrestling fans of the Jonesboro make it make it over to uh, to the Tunica this Friday night. It's going to be a night. It's going to be an epic wrestling night that uh, that I think is going to go down in history as one of the greatest uh, shows um, that we've ever seen. So tickets are still available. You can find those at PowerMemphis.com. You can find the information there. There's a Facebook page, which is Facebook.com slash Memphis Power Wrestling. And the phone number to Resorts Casino. If you want to go ahead and call and make those reservations and get those VIP tickets, the phone number is 866-706-7070. That's 866-706-7070. And we'll post that on our Facebook page here so you can follow the link to that. Brian, we can't wait till Friday night, man. 
Yeah, man. Hey, and I want to get one more thing out there before I jump off here. Uh, uh, I got to get to the gym and get to the tanning bed so that I'm looking real good for Friday night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The sex day grandmaster has got to be looking good at all times. But I want to let everybody out there know this event is not sold out yet, okay? So there are still good seats, you know, uh, but you can actually walk up uh, to the casino the night of the show. Admission to this show is only fifteen dollars, Brandon. I Man. mean, where can you get for fifteen dollars the amount of entertainment for your dollar that you're going to get down there at Resorts Casino? I mean, you know, if anybody doesn't know where Resorts is, it's right next door to Hollywood uh, Hollywood Casino. Uh, you know, they're up and coming. They're they're. This is going to be one of the casino. It's going to be like a like a the new Mid South Coliseum is what it's going to be like. You know, they already got the uh, Jerry the King Waller Museum over there. Right. So now all we need to do is have wrestling on a regular basis, and uh, and then we're in like Flint. It's, you know, I can't wait. The resort's been good to me, and uh, and and we're going to have some great wrestling action this Friday night. You got to be there.